Hey, this is Ciderhelm, and welcome to the Vainglory Hero Spotlight. Today we're looking at Baron, a living siege engine who rains destruction on his enemies. Baron brings incredible range and powerful burst damage to his team. When building crystal items, he becomes mobile artillery, shelling enemy teams from extreme distances. His weapon path enables aggressive maneuvering during combat, allowing him to quickly bring down high-value targets. Baron's heroic perk, Rocket Launcher, significantly increases the damage of his basic attacks. Additionally, each rocket explodes on impact, dealing full damage to surrounding enemies. This splash damage is reduced against lane minions. When Baron activates his Porcupine Mortar, he lobs a shell to the target location, dealing heavy damage to enemies on impact. Baron can hold up to two shells at a time, allowing him to fire twice in rapid succession. Enemies are also lightly slowed when hit by a mortar. When purchasing red weapon power items, the strength of the slow is greatly increased. On the other hand, blue crystal power items extend the range of this ability, allowing Baron to shell enemies from greater distances. I recommend learning and upgrading this ability first. When building crystal items, always take the overdrive as soon as possible. After powering up his jump jets, Baron launches to the target location, then gains a burst of movement speed. His next basic attack after landing fires quickly and reloads instantly, allowing him to fire two rockets in rapid succession. Blue crystal power items greatly extend the range of this ability. However, Baron takes longer to power up for jumps the further away he is from his destination. Red weapon power items reduce and eventually remove this power up time. Additionally, each basic attack reduces the cooldown of jump jets, allowing weapon builds that focus on basic attacks to use this ability more frequently. The overdrive for this ability grants Baron immunity to most negative effects while in flight, and for a moment after landing. I recommend learning this ability at level 2, upgrading it second, and taking its overdrive when dealing with teams that have strong stuns or other crowd controls. Baron's Ion Cannon Ultimate allows him to mark a location for an orbital strike. A few seconds later, the location is obliterated, dealing massive damage to all enemies in the area. This deals full damage to enemies near the center, while dealing reduced damage to enemies near the edges. Enemies can see and hear the moment Baron activates Ion Cannon, but only his allies see the targeting marker. The actual location of the strike is not revealed to enemies until immediately before impact. Passively, each rank of Baron's ultimate increases his basic attack range, allowing him to target enemies from further away. I recommend learning and upgrading this ultimate whenever available. When building weapon items, consider the final rank of the ultimate over the Porcupine Mortar Overdrive. A teamfight breaks out as the enemy Alpha and Catherine catch Baron and his team out in the open. As the enemy Celeste rushes in, Baron fires two mortars to block her path. Because he's building heavy crystal power, Celeste is forced to back off to avoid the extreme damage of each shell. Immediately, she unleashes her Solar Storm. Had he built weapon power, he could quickly jump to avoid the storm, but due to his slower movement and the power-up time on his jump jets, he'll need to eat the full barrage to continue moving to safety. But Baron has just triggered his Ion Cannon. Despite outranging Celeste, she moves quicker and strikes faster than him, and his only chance to take her down depends on landing this ultimate. As the Ion Cannon's location is revealed, Celeste has already started moving into its impact zone to avoid another mortar shell. Many heroes can easily avoid getting hit by any individual mortar shell, but this very trait makes him fantastic at driving opponents into his Ion Cannon or another mortar shell. On pure instinct, Celeste backs away from the Ion Cannon, getting annihilated from both impacts. Alpha and Catherine move in, sealing Baron's fate. By splitting the team at the start of the fight, Baron was forced to spend his time covering his weaknesses rather than positioning for his damage and zoning. During this match, Baron and the enemy Jewel have been massive threats, with each team setting up to play to their strengths. Baron and Arden prepare for the inevitable fight as Saw baits the enemy team. The moment they dive in, Arden brings down the gauntlet. At this moment, Saw has already been stunned by Catherine and now rooted by Rhyme. However, Arden has managed to stun Jewel in the gauntlet walls, providing the only real chance Saw has of staying alive. Right now, Baron has two huge things going in his favor. First, the gauntlet walls allow him to safely stay close to the fight. Second, because Rhyme and Catherine are both focused on finishing Saw off, he knows exactly where to aim his mortars. He's already hit Rhyme once, and as the second shell lands, he'll hit him again. 
Saw backs off thanks to Arden's vanguard just as the ion cannon strikes, erasing Catherine and Ryan. Jewel is the last enemy standing, but despite her extreme damage, Baron finishes her off with a flyby, not even looking at the explosion as he pushes forward. Thanks for watching the Baron Hero Spotlight. Download Vainglory free on the Apple App Store, Google Play, and the Amazon App Store.